Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to What Up Clay, the channel we're talking about all kinds of things, how to fix it, build it, maintain it, or product reviews. Um, right now you guys are probably thinking, man, all you do is test motors. Well, I kind of got on this uh, electric motor testing frenzy kick thing. Um, just out there trying to look at different motors, see how they perform, see what the difference is. <clears throat> see if one, how one compares to another and and all the hype about tuning and and modifying your motor and specking your motor and everything else but anyhow that side uh, today I have a uh, Phantom Helix uh, RS Helix this right here is the uh, it's the team spec it's not the 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 certified or any special version or anything like that it's uh it's just a, their standard uh, team spec one the next one up is the uh, is the works edition and again this is not the works edition it's the team edition I this was uh, hundred and ten dollars I believe it was got it a main hobbies so so let you guys know all the electric motors I have that I'm showing I bought those I nobody gave them to me to try them out or anything like that they're ones that I purchased myself so I have no special connection to any of them anyways we get to the the helix uh, RS 17.5 uh, it's what I like about this is the one piece can uh, a lot of the other motors they have the screws that go lengthwise and the screw will come through here and then it'll bolt the, uh, the end cap on here and hold them and sandwich them together onto the stator and, and so on this one here it's a one piece can the screws hold the back plate on right here and then these right here are the timing screws to hold the timing plate on as you see here it's all one piece this right here does not come apart that's pretty nice I haven't taken this apart yet to find out if it's easier or not um, but I will be doing that shortly comparing with all of all the other motors that I have but uh, it's it's a very clean design the uh, the magnet on it is not necessarily the strongest magnet um, I'm only holding it hard enough just to hold it to keep from falling out of my hands and I can spin it and where you have ones like the the Trinity slot machine and the uh, the surpass rocket those I actually have to hold it hard not just to hold it from falling out of my hand but to hold the shaft to, so I can spin it this right here spins pretty easy um, so I'm guessing it's not going to be really torquey motor um, these right here are mostly designed for high RPMs. Um, let's see the uh, soldering tabs; those are silver coated, riveted on. They're pretty thick contacts there. Um, easy to read, very easy to read. Uh, timing points right here, as you can see, and uh, only has one uh, input. Actually, the only ones I ever see with the two inputs for the uh, sensor port is the Surpass. It has one on the back here and has another one on the top, so you can come in this way if you don't have enough space in the back here. Um, the windings inside, they look they look tight. It looks they don't look as uniformed as some of the other uh, rotors that I've seen or stators that I've seen but uh, yeah it's a good motor let me uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the numbers I ran numbers on this on my tunalizer beforehand I wouldn't want to bore you guys having to hook it up and jump back and forth and so on but at the end I will hook it up to tunalize just so you can hear it run it's a very quiet very well balanced motor and so yeah let's go ahead and I'll show you the numbers what I have and uh, different set points the rpms and and kilowatts that i got this thing so let's uh let's take a look at those okay here's the numbers i have for the phantom when i ran it on the tunalizer again this is the the phantom helix rs 17.5 spec edition and it's not a certified edition team edition or anything like that it's just a regular run of the mill 105 dollars i think is what they run for um so see we have uh this right here you'll look this is the weight 
I'll show the whole thing here. So down here you have the the weight of the motor. This right here is the uh, rotor number. Uh, I don't have the rotor weight. I did not take the weight on it. Uh, it was tested in June 2023. 20, uh, factory time was set at 39.7. Uh, my test voltage, which I test all the motors at, is 7.4 volts to make it all even. And let's see, let's move over a little bit here. Okay, so we have the, uh, the current at... Uh, 50.6 degrees is 5.47 amps so if you notice if I go up another four degrees look at that the sucker jumps up three um, the current jumps up three amps so this right here is pretty much the ideal timing the highest time you want to be at really about 50.6 um, the rotor symmetry is 2.3 uh, hall signal deviation is 2.3 and motor, motor temperature was 90 degrees so the comments I have on this motor the notes I made on it was uh, it's not the strongest magnet it's actually um, like it says probably one of the weakest magnets I found in the newer motors that I'm testing here but check this out check out the RPMs on this thing 26,170 RPMs. To give you an idea how fast that is, that's about roughly 1,300 RPMs higher than the, if you look right here, this is the Trinity slot machine here. Here, I'll go back so we can look at the names. So, it's the, uh, whoops. So, the Trinity slot machine comparatively it's uh, 24,000 compared to 26,170. This right here, this number here is when it was fully dressed. In other words, I added titanium screws as well as I shimmed it with uh, brass shims and I used um, ceramic hybrid bearings. So, And that gave it another 500 RPMs. Now the uh, so we have the the rocket surpassed the lightweight that one is twenty three thousand eight hundred and then the standard rocket surpass was uh, twenty three four hundred. Now the the RPMs on the Phantom, as I said, are as you can see here also are extremely high. 26,000 RPMs, almost 2,000 RPMs higher than anything else. But you lose torque for RPMs. Like I, I mentioned, the, the magnet strength on this thing is not the strongest. You can hold the tip on it just enough to keep it from falling over, and you can just spin it in your hands. It's, it's pretty easy to spin compared to to the slot machine and as well as their passes. Passes have the strongest magnet on them, on the rotor, so. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to add on this. Um, how clean is it compared to the others? You look at these numbers here compared to the, um, the Trinity. It's a little bit tag cleaner. Um, this right here is really clean. The M-Bell deviation is really good. Compared to the lightweight, the surpassed light weight, um, the surpassed light bait, uh, surpassed lightweight is, uh, is a little bit cleaner, a little bit more efficient running. And then you have the, uh, the standard surpass, which is pretty much on par in cleanliness, except for the M-Bell deviation is a little higher there. But, um, how good is the Phantom? It's a really good, really good motor. Um, let's say you're running a 30 tooth pinion on the Phantom, you're going to get more RPMs than somebody running the Trinity or the Surpasses. However, with the Trinity Surpasses, you can bump up a, a, a tooth or two on your pinion gear, and that would give you, you start pulling away from the Phantom. So it's, 
it, the difference in the speed overall if you're re-gearing and stuff like that if it's all the same gear ratios like some races you have to have all the same gear ratios the phantom is going to be the best one uh if you can uh don't have to have the same gear ratios and you can change them then i'd probably recommend one of the other three um also the uh other three are a tad bit less expensive so all right let's get back to the uh phantom where i put it on the tunalizer and actually show you the numbers and you can get an idea of what it sounds like it's a very clean well balanced motor it's actually probably one of the quietest motors i've ever tested so all right let's get on it okay so <clears throat> as you saw in the numbers this thing right here it's it's an rpm monster it it spools up it spools up fast um, really fast motor it has uh as you saw on the trinity <clears throat> compared to the train slot machine this thing's about 2000 rpms faster than the than the slot machine however the slot machine uh, it, it it feels like it has more torque stronger magnet so on and so forth then the uh then also the same thing compared to the surpass now the, again like i mentioned earlier this thing right here is very very quiet motor i had to put electrical tape if you're wondering what the yellow is that's electrical tape it's these contacts are very very close to the can so it's hard for me to get the clips on there without shorting it out so i put the electrical tape on there let's go ahead and uh do a test on this thing you guys see how quiet this is it's a very very well balanced motor so let's see here yeah i don't know if you guys heard that but yeah it's a very very quiet motor and that uh again that means that it's just a very balanced very well balanced motor so here we have a 4.95 on the current um 49.2 degrees i can probably come up on that uh <clears throat> One more degree on that and get even better. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the numbers. And bell deviation is 1.2. Um, it's not bad. It's not the best. Uh, rotor symmetry as well as the hall center deviation. Again, those are good also. <clears throat> they're but I wouldn't say they're the best. The um, especially when you compare it to like the the surpass, which really really good. So the lower the number on here the better so let's go ahead and uh, do the rpm on it and we'll i'll show you that and that's right here 86 degrees fahrenheit that's pretty much average all the other motors this is the first time i've run this thing today uh showing it here so that is that is a true temperature it's not from anything else from messing around with it earlier let's uh do a manual let's run this thing and uh, I'll show the RPMs you see how quiet that thing is full throttle we're getting uh, 25,900 RPMs from about 4.9 amps And again, I test all my motors at 7.4 volts. Uh, if I put full throttle and that voltage drops at all, I mean, it flickers, I change it out, change the battery out, charge it, put another one on. Therefore, all my motors are ran with the same amount of voltage, so they're on the same playing field. If I run, run one motor at 7.6 volts, it's obviously going to have more a higher RPM and stuff like that than a battery if I'm running on 7.2 volts. I mean, even if it's a half volt off, it's still going to be different. So there you have it. Um, I think that this right here is a great motor. It's uh, again, again, it doesn't feel very torquey, but it is. It's very, very fast. Obviously, it's a very fast motor. 
two thousand RPMs higher than the than the competition is is nothing to nothing to be ashamed of right there. Now, so what I have come up in my next videos, guys. If you see this right here, this is what I just got in. A Trinity slot machine certified plus the hundred and sixty five dollar granddaddy right here. The one that everybody's bragging about and a whole lot of uh yeah. I'm I have this motor here. I'm gonna compare it to the Phantom. I'm also gonna compare it to the standard slot machine, and I'm gonna compare it to the to the Surpass Rocket uh, Lightweight and I'm going to compare it to the Surpass uh, 17.5 the standard motor this right here is the, the Torque Monster motor so I'm going to wait I'm waiting on a tool a special tool to help me do the testing on these things do the comparison do a really good comparison on them so stay tuned that's uh, I'm hoping that'll be my next video out so, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. If you don't like this video and it wasn't in front of, subscribe anyway just so you can make fun of my other videos. Alright guys, you take care. We'll talk to you later.